Hi, Physics Boss Man coming back at you. A projectile is shot horizontally and becomes embedded in the bob of a pendulum. And this is a contraption known as the ballistic pendulum. It's useful for uh, determining the velocity of a projectile like a bullet by measuring something that's a lot easier to measure like the height that a pendulum swings upward. Anyway, so the projectile is shot horizontally and becomes embedded in the bob of a pendulum which then swings upward to a measured height h. The masses of the projectile and the bob are lowercase m for the projectile and uppercase m for the bob respectively. Show that the initial velocity of the projectile is equal to the sum of the masses divided by the projectile mass times the square root of 2g that's help. You can do physics. Physics. Boss, as you are created. You are created in God's image. To be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue. Do it. So most of the time, the key to interpreting a problem is drawing a good picture. So let's take a little care with our M's here. The uppercase M belongs to the pendulum bob. The lowercase M uh, belongs to the projectile. In this case, we're suggesting it's a bullet, but it could be another projectile. Uh, v0 or V0 is the uh, projectile velocity before it impacts with the pendulum. It impacts with the pendulum and then the pendulum is going to swing upward, right? There's a collision, the bullet becomes embedded in the pendulum bob, it swings upward to some height h and that's what happens. And so the H is measured, the masses are known, and from a little math and a little physics, we can infer the initial velocity of the projectile from the height to which it uh, swings and the masses. So we've got two principles of physics here. Uh, one is uh, conservation of momentum. God has crowned you, 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 with glory and honor. Honor to rule, rule over his creation, creation, creation. And we're going to use conservation of momentum. That's important in analyzing the collision. And then we also have energy conservation. And energy conservation is useful and important for analyzing the swing. Okay, so to develop our bullet point plan, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to work the collision problem and what our goal here is, is we're going to express uh, V initial for the swing, right? Let's be careful here. We've got V naught, which is the initial velocity of the bullet or the other projectile. V initial for the swing is after the uh, projectile embeds in the bob and starts to swing upward, but before it's really gotten very far, when it's still really at that initial height of zero, we're going to give it that V initial swing. And so we're going to try and express this V initial for the swing in terms of V naught, the mass of the projectile, and the mass of the bob. Now the second step, and you know there could be sub steps in this, that's sort of a standard uh, uh, simple inelastic collision problem in one dimension. So and then the second big step is to work the swing problem and that, the goal of that is to relate V initial of the swing to the other unknowns in that problem, or to the givens in the problem, which are h, the height to which it swings, the mass of the projectile, and the mass of the bob. Science is a gift from God. To help us master nature. But sin added thorns and thistles. Requiring the sweat of your brow to succeed. As we evaluate, we want to keep in mind that for the first half of the problem, the swing isn't really important. It's just that there's this collision between two objects with the given masses. One of them starts at rest, one of them starts with B naught. 
So let's go ahead and work the collision problem. And the principle here is momentum conservation. And the big thing with conservation of momentum, now this is all in one direction, in one dimension, so we, don't, we can dispense with the vector notations. It's just P initial is equal to P final. Now let's think about this. The initial momentum is the momentum that the two objects have before they collide. And so we have the projectile with a mass lowercase m and a velocity v naught. And in principle, you would add it to the momentum of the bob, but in the initial condition, the bob has zero velocity, so that, that term just goes away in the equation because it multiplies by zero. Now, the final momentum, the two objects are stuck together. So the mass in the final condition is just the sum of the individual masses. And then the velocity, we're expressing that as V initial in the swing. Because the final velocity from the collision is the initial velocity in the swing. So this uh, whole term is zero. So we can simplify this out to be V naught. So divide both sides by the mass of the projectile is the sum of the masses divided by the mass of the projectile times the initial for the swing. So now the second uh, thing we need to do is we need to work the swing problem. And we work that with conservation of energy. Learning physics often requires prayer as we submit to Jesus Christ as risen, as risen King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So to work that with conservation of energy, the big idea in conservation of energy is that the initial energy is equal to the final energy. And each of these energies potentially has two contributions, the kinetic plus the potential. But there's some simplifying factors here also. Uh, so the initial kinetic energy is one half times the total mass, which is the sum of the masses, times the initial of the swing squared. Now there's no potential energy, or the potential energy happens to be zero, because if you recall from the picture, the height at that instant is zero, or we're reckoning that as our zero in height. Uh, also, it's important to note that the final kinetic energy is zero. Why is that? As the bob's swinging upward, it gets to its highest point. It doesn't have any velocity. If it still has some velocity, it'd either still be moving up or be on its way back, and it wouldn't be at the highest point anymore. So the final velocity is zero, so we just won't bother to write that down. And then we have the sum of the masses, m plus m, the total mass, times acceleration of gravity, times the height. All right, so we've got a little simplification to do uh, and a few steps of algebra in route to our solution, but we are hot on the trail. All right, so now we need to finish uh, essentially solving for V initial of the swing here. So let's look at this term. We can divide both sides by the sum of the masses. So that just cancels out. And then we can multiply both sides by 2. So V initial of the swing squared is equal to 2GH. V initial of the swing uh, is equal to the square root of 2GH. So now we have sort of the bottom line from the collision problem is this relationship here. The bottom line from the swing problem is this relationship here. So if we substitute in the square root of 2GH for V initial squared, combining both, we find that the initial uh, velocity of the projectile is equal to the sum of the masses divided by the projectile mass times the square root of 2GH, which is, which is what we were asked to show. So now to assess, we reign by surrender. We reign by surrendering to Jesus and praying for our daily bread, which includes success, success in our schoolwork. God will answer and lighten our yoke and the impact of the thorns and thistles in our labor. So let's think first about the units. And a lot of times, now, 
you know, you've probably seen me if you've watched a few of these solutions by now. When I get to the assessment part, I'm reasoning things through carefully, but all I write down is units check, magnitude check, sign check. You have to be careful to think it through and not just kind of pretend that you did it and put check marks by the important words. We didn't do the math on the units yet, so let's go ahead and do that now. V naught. So units of mass plus mass is kilograms. Units of mass in the denominator here is kilograms. And then the square root 2 is unitless. G is the acceleration of gravity, meters per second squared. H is the height in meters. So let's keep doing the math on the units. Kilograms over kilograms cancels out. And then we have the square root of meter squared per second squared. And that is indeed meters per second. So are the assessment on the units passes our check. What about the sign? Well, not a whole lot of things going in the opposite direction. Everything's kind of headed in the positive direction. Uh, so we expect a positive velocity and we get a positive velocity. No shock or surprise there. What about the magnitude? How are we going to reason through the magnitude of it? Well, it does make sense that as the velocity increases, that the height increases, right? If, if, you, if the bullet hits the pendulum bob with more velocity, it's going to swing higher. And so that aspect of the magnitude check works out. It also, think about this, as the uh, all other things are constant, if you can swing a heavier mass, a heavier plumb bob up to the same height, you're going to need more velocity, right? So that part of it checks out also. So couple sanity checks on the way our magnitude is depending. Hey, these physics problems are getting harder. Let's uh, pray and ask the Lord for wisdom. Heavenly Father, your word says in James, and we thank you that your word gives us such precious promises, that if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault. So Lord God, we pray that you'd increase our wisdom in physics, increase our wisdom in the work ethic aspects of it, increase our wisdom in when to ask for help, when to just work harder, when to maybe take a short break and think about something else. It gives wisdom on when to pray to ask for specific help when we're struggling with a particular challenge that's a little more thorny than the average challenge. We pray in Jesus' name. Message from our God, gonna tell you all about how to get to the kingdom. The good life.